Hey guys, today we're going to be examining the question of what's in a soft drink. On your screen you see four different kinds of popular sodas that you and your family drink all the time. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to boil all of these drinks so all the water evaporates and all the actual ingredients, added ingredients, stay. To really give you an idea of how much junk is going into your body every single time you drink one of these. Alright, I, I think that's about it. Let's get started. Alright, here we are. Uh, I have the metal can in which I'll be uh, boiling all these sodas and the first thing that I poured in there is some Sunkist. So now I'm heating it up and we're just gonna wait for all the water to boil out and see what's left. Alright, here we are in the process of boiling out. As you can see, about half of it I'd say has boiled out at this point. And I'm actually going to add in the rest of the can since we want to see how much is in the entire can and not just a fraction of it. Alright, there we go. Alright, so here we have what's left of the boiled sun kiss. We're going to just pour it all out into this cup so you can see it all. And it's kind of a black tar-like substance which is probably just a combination of a bunch of caramelized sugar along with some added chemicals that are added into Sunkist. And there's a bit more left on the sides that I can't get out of the can, but that's that's just about it. Right there is what you get into your stomach and body every single time you drink a can of Sunkist. Here we have what's left of the Sprite, so we're just gonna pour that out into the cup. And as you can see, it's about the same amount as from Sunkiss. Not much better, not much worse. Still the same exact black tar-like substance, which is, like I said, a combination of caramelized sugar and added ingredients. It's actually quite sticky and starts to kind of get all over everything. But uh, there you have it. That's, oh my god, it is going through the bottom. It burned straight through the bottom of the cup because it was extremely hot, but that's what you have left of the uh, Sprite. Here we have what's left of the uh, regular Coke. I have Diet Coke still uh, boiling to my right right there. And so we're just going to pour it out. And as you can see, I have a little al aluminum tray. So in case the uh, liquid goes straight through the bottom like it did last time because it's so hot, uh, it's not just going to spill out all over the place like it did last time. There we go, that's most of it. Like I said, and like before, there's still tar uh, all over the sides of the can, but I can't really do anything about that because it cools relatively quickly and then it turns hard. Uh, okay, and here we go. It actually is going through the bottom again, but uh, you can see right there how much of that caramelized sugar and other crap is left after the Coke. It's kind of going out the bottom there, and the rest of it's just in here. Okay, and for comparison, we have Diet Coke boiling it right now because I'm, I'm curious for myself just to see if there's any actual difference in the amount of added ingredients between Diet Coke and regular Coke. Okay, this is what's left after the uh, can of Diet Coke. As you can see, there's obviously not very much left. I actually have nothing to pour out into the cup, but what is left is that there's a kind of a plastic film at the very bottom of the can and um, there's a film right here it made a big bubble and I have no idea what it's made of but it really feels like plastic so I'm actually not sure if this is Diet Coke is any better than regular Coke. Alright well that's it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if this has changed your opinion at all on wh whether or not you want to drink or continue drinking soft drinks. Uh, I'll probably be coming out with a second video like this where I'll be boiling down other drinks such as maybe Monster or Gatorade or something like that. Uh, please make sure to comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll be answering those. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching, guys.